This is the third round of the North American Open, and let me get to the starting position. So, I opened with the London system, and my opponent played uh, a different move order for the London. So, here I played h3 to prevent knight h5, because if I went knight f3 right away, I would lose my bishop. But it would be fine for me if I lost it. It's just something that I was scared of. Because now I can play bishop b5 even. And his knight is just really bad. But I played h3, and he castled. I played knight f3 from there, and then b6. So he wants to fear shadow and play knight e4. c3, so then it's solidifying the d4 square. And bishop b7, bishop d3, knight bd7, and then castling. So here he's struck in the center, and he probably just wants to put his rook on c1. Because then he has the choice of opening the c file. And I would probably take back with the e pawn, but that's not that didn't happen in the game. So I played queen e2, trying to prevent knight, uh, trying to play e4, but he would just play knight e4, and then now my queen is neutralized and has no, uh, has no use. Bishop c2. Because here I wanted to take on e4, but that would run into d takes e4, and then he would take both of my, uh, he would take one of my minor pieces. Rook c8, and then I took, he took knight d2. I'm attacking this pawn, and f5. So this weakens the e4 square, and I could have played queen c4 here. Because this is like provoking the bishop to go to d5. Uh, because there's not many ways to defend it. But there is rook f6, and well, that could actually work. So I only calculated bishop d5, and rook f6 would probably be the best way to defend it. But if he played bishop d5. Then this queen c4 move will just be provoking this bishop to go to d5, and now you can go queen a6. And he can only play rook a8 to defend his pawn. But of course, there's also some cons of taking the a7 pawn. So say if it, he wants to maybe attack on the king side now, although his pieces aren't really there yet. He has to play this and then somehow use this knight. Probably with knight f6 after rook g6, but that would be kind of like a clutter. Now, if I took here, he could go here, and I still can save my queen, but if this bishop wasn't here, I'd lose my queen. So that's just like a hypothetical. He played a5, because if I played a5, uh, he would take... I don't have the b file open yet, but I could play queen b5 and win back the pawn easily with a much better position. So he played a5, and then I played I played rook f d1, and then king queen e8, f3, and then e takes f. Now I took back and then queen g6. He has this long diagonal. All to himself, so it's kind of scary. Queen h5, queen g3, rook f6, and now rook g6 is a threat because, well, the rook and the bishop are a lot stronger than the queen and the bishop because the rook's worth less than a queen. Now, king f1, I mean, not such a good move here, but I don't know why I played that. I really don't know why. He doubled, and that's a questionable move too. He could maybe just go here and attack me. Uh, doubling rooks doesn't have that big of an effect. Now, bishop d3, I went back to prevent any of these checks. Rook g6, queen f2. 
knight f6, and bishop e2. So as you can see here, the queen's somewhat trapped. If both of these pieces are preventing black from moving his queen, but knight e4. So this move saves his queen, I guess. Because if I were to play queen e1, trying to maybe somehow take the queen, I mean, rook f6, or even he can maybe just ignore it, but okay, it's still a bigger threat than this. I was think of, thinking of something like maybe along the lines of this, but you know that actually might work. It's a really weird line if bishop h4. So the best move would be to king it to play this, but there's probably something that's going to be made for white. I mean, this is just way too dangerous. Yes, this is going to be... This isn't mate yet, but bishop h4 is always the move, and this is it. Yeah, so, obviously that wouldn't work. So, okay, I went really deep into that line. So I played knight e5 instead of queen e1, and he took, I took, he took, and I took. So here... I was thinking that this move isn't good, but it's actually the best because it's a check. So I have to take it. If I don't take, I'd lose all my pawns. And, well, it's, it's six a long variation, but it's probably not good. Now uh, he played bishop takes e3, h takes g6, takes, and then c4. I played bishop f4, he went here, rook e8, rook e1, and then bishop d5. So here I thought I would just be winning a pawn taking this, and he even like made a reaction, and it looked like he, he was acting as if he was going to lose, but then right after he just found the move, but he obviously saw that before. I thought I could save it with g4, because if he took, I would take, and that would win back the material. But even actually, that doesn't work. I didn't see this. This would still be pinned, and I would lose. And so I think he missed that, but g6 is also fine. And here, it's actually equal, because after all this... Okay... I'm not supposed to take this because if it, I'm down material, I'm supposed to just keep as much uh, pieces that are not queens on the, that are not pawns on the board. But I took, and that's the mistake that made me lose. But I actually could have gotten it back. I played g5, and all the way up to here, he's still winning, but uh, to here, he made it a draw but i still lost it because i i played king g4 which is an unnecessary move playing g6 would would draw because say if he, he wants to take my pawn i would go here he goes here i took i take and then now it's impossible to for him to win this pawn won't be staying on the board because after b4, which is inevitable, I could maybe even win if it, he doesn't defend his position well. But king f7, and I lost the chance, and after this, it was lost. d5 was another mistake. It was only minus 1.2 in this position, but it made it checkmate in 41. Uh, I don't care about that, but... Okay, after these moves, it's lost, and I resign. The funny thing here is, if this bishop was on a light square, it would be a draw, because the pawn promoting square is dark, and this one, this bishop is also dark squared, but if it was light squared, it would actually be a draw. You can search it on YouTube if you want, but yeah, that's about it for this. And I have about 1.5 points out of 3 in this tournament right now. Okay, cool. I actually recorded everything. I actually
actually did several takes. Oh yeah, bye.